to Blackpool for tonight we're going to be staying at the Grand Hotel now this is a Britannia hotel but I believe it is one of the better ones it does have some mixed reviews but well, let's go check in and see what this hotel's got to offer it is honestly like a lovely entrance nice little ramp way in revolving doors which aren't working So we just got to the room, now let's take you for a look inside, let's go. This is us, number 257. Also bearing in mind, this is a Britannia Hotel. How nice are these hallways? This lovely wallpaper, funky carpet, it's also clean. Right, so this is our entrance into the room. We're greeted by a cot, well that doesn't come with every room, that's just us. Push this out of the way. Covered with loads of towels, like a spare quilt. So you've got a safe in this one. Loads of hangers, all nice and matching. Got a fan, an ironing board, and an iron. Okay, and then just on your right hand side, this is your bathroom. Nice big mirror. That is actually spotless as well. You've got a tissue box, brand new inside. Tap. That's a bit weak. Really good, nice and polished. Loads of toiletries all included. Shampoo conditioner, shower gel, more shampoo conditioner, body lotion, that's quite a fancy one. A couple of bars of soap and a couple of shower caps and then some towels as well. So the instant downside in here is a very slight... I don't know what that is. Maybe a bit of soap, but also of course the huge, huge crack all through the sink every time nice big hair at the back there down here just got an extra towel does anyone know what this symbol is but is that a bottle opener i can't really work out that is i've never seen this before that's a little bit loose another toilet roll down here some hygiene bags just in the corner i'm assuming something used to be there the bin is empty, that's always a relief. Toilet seat's a bit shaky. All the silicone has just broken all around the edges. Okay, and this is the nervous part. Let's check the toilet. Looking pretty good. You've got all nice clean taps on top. The shower head is pretty spotless. Some slight water spots just down there, but that's nothing. The shower rail itself. I think that's also water spots. That's a little bit discoloured. I'm not sure what that's about. And quite dusty as well. Shower curtain. What is that? I, I think that could well be blood, unfortunately. But then the actual bathtub is looking pretty clean. Obviously got a few spots here. That's not a hair, thankfully. Just in the corners. Could possibly be a little bit of mould, or just dirt. Okay, let's go take a look at the room. I think there's a bit of blood on the shower curtain. Really? <laughs> yeah. Moving into the room here, nice full length mirror. And then can we just appreciate the size of this bed? Practically two doubles put together. So you've got this lamp here, which is leather. A leather lamp, that's quite unique. So you've got a nice USB charger. Got some drawers down here. Clean and empty. Slight like little red mark on there. Not sure what that is. Got some chest of drawers here as well. They're all very clean as well. Just seems to be never ending furniture in here. Another chest of drawers over here. Plus super old phone as well. Okay, so in this first one. So you've got a fridge in here. Pack of chocolate buttons, slightly falling apart. Right, so just on the inside there. I don't know if that's just wear and tear, or if that's a bit of mould. Possibly both. You've got your kettle. You've got an unbelievable amount of teas and coffees. Oh wow, look at that. I'm impressed. I did not expect that to slide out. Kettle, a few glasses, 
some superior quality tea biscuits coffees sugars sweeteners milks and then four mugs but only two spoons for some reason okay kettle test apart from a couple of spots at the bottom the kettle is looking pretty clean so yeah another desk here nice little leather chair it's quite funky is this a drawer? It is a drawer. For some reason, the part of your hair dryer is in there. Do we have a hair dryer? No, we do not. Okay, so there was supposed to be a hair dryer in there, but instead, you've just got the part of it. And then moving round. <laughs> moving round, you've got this huge radiator, which is absolutely massive. And then you do have a sea view just over there but of course it's night time so it's not showing particularly well and this is just another entrance of the hotel down here just a little lounge chair over here coffee table in the middle with some stools underneath and then the big surprise of the room this was even surprising to us is a, a literal another section with some bunk beds so yeah we've only booked for two adults and one baby but for some reason there is an entire another section in this room cool little wardrobe over here oh shit. That was a bit loud. TV as well. Oh no, I actually missed the big TV in the wall there. And then a very worn down looking bunk bed. You can see as well, just around the side, it does fold away in the room. And then presented with another big window over here, which we'll take a look at in the morning. Honestly, these hallways are beautiful. For some reason, just a complete marble table right there. Really funky carpets as well. Okay, so unfortunately the restaurant was closed. The room told us it was open until 8.30 and then we got down there and it's closed. So we've ordered takeaway instead. Let's go get that. Literally just around the corner to where those lights are, just in the distance. It's literally just a five minute walk. And there's a few good takeaways there, as well as a co-op shop just on the end as well. So just in this part of the hotel, this is all part of the hotel here. Just literal, just grassland. It has been like this for years. I've been seeing it for years and I've never seen anything of actual use on this land. So very disappointed about the restaurant. I was actually really looking forward to that. A free course meal for 15 pounds. And for kids, I think it's aged 7 to 14. If one of your children want a free course meal, it's £7.50. All right, food secured. Let's see if the receptionist gives me any funny looks. Okay, let's go have a walk around the hotel. We continue to see just never-ending furniture for some reason. Do these windows open? No. Just a little hallway here. A really weirdly placed window. Well, all round, looks pretty clean. Then you've just got your elevators in there. Let's see what we've got down here. Nothing, just a fire exit. <laughs> Lift could do with a sweep, that's for sure. Oh god, I'm gonna get copyright extracts. We're just down here, car park, springs, swimming club, leisure pool. Let's go take a look. So yeah, there is a very big event going on upstairs and I'm not sure what it's about. And so I guess I'll... And that's what that is locked. So I have to come take a look in the morning. Is that some kind of fire exit? And then just down here, nothing, all private. Let's head back upstairs. So yeah, we'll take a look in the morning for the swimming pool. We are planning on going swimming. We've been informed so from 8 till 5. Mm, bit creepy. Again, this is also creepy. 
Oh. I've got a feeling I'm not supposed to be down here. Another room in there. <clears throat> there it is, uh. Okay, so I'm fairly positive I'm not supposed to be here. But um but this is what's down here in case you wanted. And that's it. There wasn't much to show you. So in the morning we'll take a look at the swimming pool and we'll go have a look in the car park and the sea view as well. Now friends, I've not even done the cleanliness test of the bed. Of course I have to do this before we go to bed. So let's have a quick look. So the quilt itself on the top is literally spotless. Nothing at all. And on the inside as well, one little hair there. Yeah, apart from one little hair on the inside. Pretty clean. She itself is looking pretty good and I do have to say, just listen to that. I can literally hear the creaking of the wood, the frame underneath, and you can also hear the springs as well. I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable, but you know, it's not the it's not the softest mattress in the world, that's for sure. So, a good sign straight away. We've got a mattress protector, and we've also got an extra protector underneath. The mattress protector... <clears throat> I can see like a very... It's very faded in, but I can just about make out a bit of a yellow stain there. Which is not great. Sorry, my son is just over here, so I'm trying to avoid filming him, of course. Let's go ahead and pull off. Oh, no, this is all connected. My mistake. That's just one protector. I can just, again, see the outline of that urine stain. But it does appear like they have attempted to clean off. Which, if that's what the hotel's doing, I'm happy. A very slight hair just down here. Just there below my thumb. Oh, no, never mind. One here as well. Just around there. Slight like yellow stain, but again, it's very faded and it would appear to have been cleaned out. You know, not the cleanest bed we've ever seen, but it's not actually that bad. This is the view this morning. Difference from what we, were, we would expect uh, without climate change. Over the Blackpool Sea. Beautiful. And this one as well. Little roof bit there. So apart from these buildings over here, which kind of ruin the view. It is a nice one. A little fire exit here as well. Okay, let's do the review. So, number one, staff. So staff, absolutely lovely, no issues at all. 10 out of 10. Number two is the price. So the price I paid tonight was £38. An amazing deal. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the price I can't fault at all. We've had an amazing time. The hotel's lovely. Honestly, for the price, I'd say 10 out of 10 as well. Amazing price. Number three, we've got cleanliness. So, we did find some hairs. Slight urine stains on the mattress. A bit of blood on the shower curtain. So it definitely could have been better. But, they have attempted to clean these things. And I would easily say, this is like one of the cleanest hotels I've been to. Like, there was not much to find at all. So I'm pretty impressed. So for cleanliness, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Number four, I've got a Wi-Fi. It's free. I had to put my email, but other than that, perfect. Just given the fact I had to put my email in, I would say nine out of 10. But perfect Wi-Fi, no issues. Location. We're, uh, oh God, the lift is jumping. We are like a bit out of the way from town centre, but we've got a great sea view. We have takeaways around here, you've got businesses, you've got little local shops as well. So it's a pretty good location, but given the fact you are like a bit of a drive away from town centre, I'm gonna say six out of 10. If you do want to go to the theme parks or the attractions, you have to drive or get a taxi.